My name is Grace Aaron. I'm, I'm with the Social Uplift Foundation. We have a website with videos of, uh, on different subjects that have to do with social uplift. And I have uh, with me Donna Gilmore, who is the founder of San Onofre Safety. San Onofre Safety dot org, and uh, I want her to tell us about that and about an update on what's happening with San Onofre. Donna, what is San Onofre Safety? Uh, well, San Onofre Safety. Um, I, I started a website, San Onofre Safety dot org, a few years ago, uh, in response to the problems happening at the San Onofre Safety uh, nuclear power plant. It's a website uh, for citizens to go to for factual documented information about nu about nuclear power and nuclear waste um, and it's turned out to be a very popular website nationwide um, it has current information about the, cur the current issues um, citizens have been able to, to take the information to local city councils give them unbiased educated information about the the facts of nuclear uh, at San Onofre, and, and now my focus is on the nuclear waste now that the San Onofre nuclear plant is shut down. Uh, and what I've learned about the nuclear waste stored at San Onofre and around the entire country is, is shocking. Um, I attended a uh, NRC technical presentation on the issues with these containers. Now that they have to be stored for possibly hundreds of years right at nuclear plants all over the nation, they're thin, half-inch thick stainless steel containers, and near an ocean environment, they will crack within 30 years. And the nuclear industry has no way to inspect these for cracks, no way to repair the cracks, technology doesn't exist. And they have no current plans of what to do if one of these cracks open and starts leaking radiation. Absolutely none. And um, I've been sharing this information. I've gone and met with uh, Calif uh, some California Senate people, with the governor's office, California Public Utilities Commissioner, um, and the California Ener Energy Commission, and none of them were aware of this information. So it's really just getting out there. And I have more information about this on the sananofresafety.org website. Uh, people need to get involved. They need to educate their local, local politicians, their uh, state politicians, their friends, their family. And we need to get this information out, out to the public because the nuclear industry and our own Nuclear Regulatory Commission have been hiding the facts about this issue. How large are these casks? Can you describe them and what's in them? Let me answer your question this way. Each one of these containers uh, has more nuclear waste in it than what was dropped on Hir Hiroshima. Okay, we're, we're talking just one of these containers releasing nuclear waste can cause uh, you know, more damage than what a nuclear bomb cause, causes. And they have tons of this now. And they're getting ready to buy, they're getting ready to buy 100 more canisters to store this waste in. And they continue to want to buy uh, these thin stainless steel containers. Europe uses better technology. Instead of half inch thick, they use uh, containers that are almost 20 inches thick, and they house these containers in buildings. So we, so Southern California Edison, they want to just stick with these thin containers, and uh, we're urging people to uh, to uh, sign an online petition to urge our public utility commission not to pay for these containers because they, they may not last 30 years and, and there are better solutions out there. Our, our point of power uh, in California is with our public utility commission. They have control over the money that Edison spends. So if we can, we can get the public utility commission to not pay this $400 million for these inferior canisters, and, and push for them to get better quality canisters that w will last much longer, that can be ex uh, inspected, that can be repaired or replaced, then we may be able to, to save Southern California. Uh, because it looks like it's up to us. So p please go to San Onofre Safety. Um, the first link on the website is to the online petition. And uh, if you want to get more involved in that, please contact me uh, through the website, sananofreesafety.org. Last week, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission 
basically um, approved allowing new nuclear plants to be built and um, existing aging elderly nuclear plants to be relicensed. Um, up until last week, uh, uh, I've been working with an attorney, Diane Curran. She's an excellent attorney on um, any re issues related to Nuclear Regulatory Commission. She really understands the crazy laws. And she, and she was a key person uh, that actually stopped the licensing of new plants and the relicensing of existing plants for a number of years. Um, and so she needs to do that again uh, because we need to stop new nuclear plants from being built. We need to stop these old aging nuclear plants from being relicensed. And that is happening right now. And Diane Curran is our best bet to get that stopped. And she's, she's looking for funding. She needs about $50,000 for legal fees. She has expert, um, uh, experts that are, have already been funded. So if we can um, raise money and, and it would go directly to her um, for, for those fees, she's our best chance. She is absolutely our best chance to stop new nuclear plants and to stop relicensing nuclear plants in the United States. So I urge you, if you know someone or you're, or you're interested, you contact me. I can give you more detailed information and put you in touch with her directly.